Hello and welcome back to Active Retro. My name is James and today it's a review of the Walmart exclusive Ravager Outfit Baby Groot figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 toy line by Hasbro. There's no denying that the overwhelming success of 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy caught both audiences and Marvel itself off guard. While some toys and merchandise were released in conjunction with the movie, the film's breakout star, Groot, was barely represented in any form. Looking to correct this the second time around, Marvel and Hasbro are giving us more Baby Groot merch than you can shake a stick at. Out of the box, Baby Groot is a tremendous 10.5 inches tall, which is meant to be roughly life-size. It's not often that you can get a 1-1 scale figure for a very affordable price, so count that as a plus. By and large, this figure really does look like it just hopped off the screen. There's a lot of details to take in, from the intricacies of the head to the fine texture work on the suit. The CGI Groot has a lot of subtle design elements, particularly the ears and eyebrows, all of which successfully translate into toy form. Kudos to the sculptors for absolutely nailing the terrestrial roots of the character's look. The figure's hands are static, but they have been sculpted in such a way that it is fairly easy to rest objects in either palm or to stick something between the fingers. The draw of this figure, the Ravager suit, is rendered very well. There's a lot of fine detail work here that really helps sell the fact that this outfit is made of leather or a similar material. I appreciate the fact that all the sculpted buckles, zippers, and straps were properly painted and not left as is. Despite being a larger figure, Baby Groot only has seven points of articulation. That's three in each arm and one in the neck. The arms are able to pivot out and rotate a full 360 degrees at the shoulder, and each hand can rotate 360 as well. The suit's collar prevents Groot from turning his head the whole way around, but there's still a fair range of movement. While the swivel joint in the neck works fine, I can't help but think that a ball and joint here would have been the better choice to help give the figure just a little more range of motion. Groot does not have any articulation in his legs, and while this leaves him a little wooden, the designers made up for it by sculpting the figure in quite the dynamic stance. This is one of those situations where adding articulation just because it's expected could have ruined the overall look of the design. There is not a single screw hole in the figure, and the shoulder joints blend in well with the arms. Incorporating hip or knee articulation into the sculpt would have been obtrusive and taken away from the otherwise seamless flow of the figure. Overall, Groot's posture just exudes mischievousness and gives you the impression that he's going to run off into trouble the second you look away. Baby Groot is exclusive to Walmart stores in the United States, but tracking this figure down either in person or online shouldn't be too difficult. Groot will set you back $20, but that's still roughly 1 20th the price of the upcoming Hot Toys Deluxe figure. You cannot liken this figure to that adult collectible by any stretch of the imagination, but this exclusive is great for kids or for any fan that is either waiting on or planning to skip the Hot Toys release. If you're not into fancy electronic gimmicks or high-end collectibles, but pine for a baby Groot from Volume 2, then this is going to be the figure for you. If you don't like cute, cuddly cartoon creatures that were designed to sell toys, then you best leave this figure on the shelf. But if you do like cute, cuddly cartoon creatures that were designed to sell toys, then you best pick this figure up. Pick, like an apple or something? I don't, yeah, I don't think that pun really worked. This has been our review for the Walmart exclusive Ravager outfit Baby Groot figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 toy line by Hasbro. If you want to see more of this figure, you can check out a high-res image gallery over on my blog, theactiveretro.com. The link is down below in the description, or you can click the gallery link on the end screen here in just a few seconds. So what did you think of this figure? Is it a must-have or an easy pass? Did you pick up on all the tree puns, or did they fall short? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and of course, if you like this video, hit like. And if you like this channel, I am Groot. Thank you for watching.